Thank you to Anchor for sponsoring this video. So this is the first product I have ever tested that legitimately holds record in the Guinness Book of World Records. And before, it's probably some inevitable eye rolls, this is like a legitimate record. Anchor Solix C1000 Gen 2 is the fastest recharging portable power station uh, in the one kilowatt category. And there's a lot of these battery packs that are in that category. But I wanted to know, is a world record remotely useful or is it just like a cool talking point like on a press release? And so before I show you uh, what this can do, I do wanna tell you what I can do for you. If you watch my videos, you know I love to do these. It is one of my favorite things. You get a chance to win $500. So tell me in the comments down below, the first device you would recharge if you had one of these. Tell me a fact about yourself, whatever you want. Watch the video all the way through. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure there's a way to contact you either with your handle in the comment or on your YouTube page. Let it run for 10 days. Open to anywhere in the world. Information though will be down below. Now I'm guessing at this point, probably wondering why I have an iPad on top of the battery pack. I wanted to show you in real time actually how fast this charger, at least as much in real time as I can. So I am going to plug this in. You should see it should start from zero. Now I'm gonna hit start right here. Now what you'll see is this counter probably change a lot as we're filming the video because there's gonna be cuts and edits to probably see actually how long it takes us to actually record uh, a full video. But I do give you my word that I will not touch this and I will not touch this. So you guys can actually see how the charging goes. We've already jumped 1% in the 19 seconds that I've been talking, introducing you to this. So uh, pretty fast. This is just plugged into to regular 120. It's not like plugged in some crazy 240 outlet. So just from reference. So these little power stations, I think are incredibly important. There are a million different use cases for a battery pack like this, and I'll talk about a lot of them, but the one that's like immediately most impactful uh, actually happened last month in September. Uh, my mom showed up at our door with an overnight bag. Uh, her power had been out for three hours and it wasn't coming back. It wasn't a hurricane, it wasn't a wildfire. It was just a Tuesday in Southern California where the grid decides to just peace out and say not today. And this is not like some isolated incident. This is kind of the general reality we live in here in Southern California and a lot of other places in the world too. And when people, I think, think about life here, it's usually like beaches, Disneyland, like maybe like some earthquakes. But like the general way our power kind of runs here uh, is that like we'll get an alert on our phones that like power is gonna be cut off in an hour. We don't know how long it's going to be cut off for. And that happens like all the time. And like Edison tries to give you a few days heads up, but it happens more often than not. And they're like, it's happening now. The average blackout lasts like 12 hours. And that's longer than the FDA says your food can safely stay in the refrigerator. So when Anchor sent over this beauty, and this beauty has a name, uh, I call him Steve, but his real given name is the Anchor Solix C1000 Gen 2. And they told me it holds a world record for fast charging. My first question wasn't about the record. It was, can I charge this fast enough to save my fridge when I get that outage alert? So Guinness certified this uh, as the fastest recharging power station in its class. 49 minutes from zero to 100%. Uh, the average power station, the competition roughly takes an hour and 15 minutes to charge. And like when I talk about that extra 15, 20 minutes, how much faster this charges, like, that's a big difference of sort of getting home and having the station last you longer, especially when you only have an hour heads up. So right now we're at seven minutes uh, on this counter and we are at almost 15%. We're at 14% battery life. That's a lot of hours here of actual usage. That alone, depending on how many things you have plugged in, might get you through the entire outage. Also will last for an absurdly long time. So John had one simple request uh, for this video. He wanted this thing drained down to 0% so then we can charge it up to 100% during the filming of this video. Seemed like a pretty simple request, right? How wrong was I? So I just charged everything that I possibly could. I have portable batteries here. I have larger batteries. That's for laptops. I have big batteries. That's for monitors and cameras. I have a heavy duty fan. I have lights. I have all of this stuff plugged in and getting powered all day. This thing started at 100% at 8.30 in the morning. It is currently 2.54 in the afternoon. Okay, do you wanna see what the percentage is at right now? 59%, 59%. It's not even halfway drained right now. So this is creating a weird production problem for me right now, to try to make sure that this thing is drained to 0%. I gotta go like plug in my refrigerator or something just to get this thing drained down. So 
Like this guy? This guy's the problem that I'm trying to solve. This is like a normal home fridge. This isn't like a small dorm fridge. I'm trying to keep this guy powered and running for 12 hours. That's kind of the length of the average blackout. I'm talking everything working. I could make ice if I wanted to. Keep the compressor running, keep all the food that I've got in here fresh as if there was no power blackout. This is obviously just one use case, right? Blackouts, Anchor's got this locked down. Uh, this is the battery pack to get, but there's a lot of other use cases too. Because it's so light, it's perfect for like going to the beach if you're camping, if you are overnighting in like your car or a van, anywhere where you wanna have a little extra power and peace of mind, this works perfectly. And because it charges so fast, you don't necessarily always have to worry about keeping it always at 100%. If you've got a few minutes by an outlet, you can juice it right up. And actually, Stevie, uh, what are we at right now? We're at 26 minutes and 48%. Okay. So in 26 minutes, we're at 48%, almost 50. Now I assume the charging curve is going to slow down as we get to the 80, 90, but that's insane. Even just in less than a half hour, I could power my fridge for six hours. And there's really nothing more power hungry from a 120, at least in a home, than a refrigerator fridge. So I'd like to transition from Gen 1 to Gen 2, uh, Anchor chose speed and portability uh, over modularity. So the Gen 1 had an extra uh, AC outlet. I was able to have some modular batteries attached to it and had a light. The Gen 2 got 11% lighter. This whole thing uh, weighs under 25 pounds. I can pick it up with one hand. And with all of that power, it is really impressive. All right, so while this is finishing gay 100%, uh, let me show you what I tested this with over the past week, because how fast the thing can charge really doesn't matter if you can't actually handle like real world use. So I brought it home and I powered my home office, which is duplicated here. So we're talking monitor, laptop, router, even a desk lamp. And I powered it for a full six hours straight. And it wasn't like it was empty at that point. It was just, I just didn't, I didn't want to work uh, anymore. Uh, the output is 2000 Watts continuous and is 3000 Watt peak output. And the peak output, I think matters hugely because some things need a big spike when they first start up. I've tested cheaper stations in the past and before they just claim a high wattage, but they shut down when you flip a switch on something that is really power hungry. On the IO side, it's got a lot. So it's got 10 total ports, five AC outlets, uh, two 140 watt USB type C's, uh, one 115 watt USB type C, one USB A and a 12 watt uh, car socket, which you can put an adapter and make that any port you want. Those high wattage USB-C ports, I thought were pretty clutch for charging laptops without having to use one of the AC plugs. All right, so we've been making this video for 55 minutes and we are at 95% charge. So we've almost hit that 100% point. And the batteries that are charging while we're doing all this and charging fast, uh, they're lithium ion phosphate, the same chemistry uh, used in a lot of EVs. It's rated for 4,000 charge cycles before it starts to drop to about 80% capacity. So if you charge this every single day, that is 11 years before you have that drop. I'm assuming most people won't cycle it daily, which is from fully empty to full. Uh, so you're looking at like over a decade of lifespan. It also supports 600 watts of solar input too, which gives you a full charge uh, in under two-ish hours. You can charge it from solar and AC simultaneously too, so it can be faster to prioritize the solar first. At this point though, I do wanna check where we are at. Uh, we are at just about 59 minutes and 99%, so I'm gonna call that uh, at 60 minutes, so one hour it took us uh, to get to 100%. Uh, which was not Guinness Book of World Records, uh, but still very, very impressive. Hey, so future John here. So I know why we had that discrepancy. There's a little button that I didn't press that enables the fast charging. Uh, I was trying to through going through to figure out why we had that difference. And that's the reason. But even with the fast charging disabled, this still charged faster than pretty much every other uh, home power station battery pack available. So. Impressive no matter which way you look at it, even if you didn't have that all option selected. There are a lot of battery packs on the market, and there's a lot that claim to do really similar things, and 80% of them do what Anchor's doing here. But the one time you're gonna need this to charge fast, 
this is going to absolutely pay for itself. There's a lot of products out there, like I said, but Anchor's delivered is something that works as advertised. It charges extremely fast, although in all fairness, we did not get the Guinness Book of World Records. But even without that, it was still faster than any other battery pack that I've tested. It is lightweight, under 26 pounds. It easily fits under a desk. And with full UPS support, it's kind of perfect just to have there and forget about it. The price is always changing too, so there's always sales going on. I'll put on a link down below but obviously the best time to buy uh, is either Black Friday or Cyber Monday. If you are in the market for any of those things, and I think probably everybody is, I'll put a link to them down below. So I totally said I was gonna do this on camera and I didn't. So let me show you. The fridge is off. Freezer is quiet and not compressing. I'm gonna plug it in to the C1000 here. Plug it into this outlet. Push a button. Look at that. It's on, the freezer is freezing. Works exactly as it's supposed to.